What happens when you combine Minecraft with mods that make it more like Skyrim? What I mean is more heavily leaning into fantasy, character and world building, questing, and all in all, just a crazy adventure experience. Oh, and did I mention it's hard as balls? Salutations! My name is Eclipse, EQ for short, and welcome to 100 Days in Radcraft 2. In this 100 Days, we have one goal. Slay the Ender Dragon. Trust me, that's harder than you think. And we're slapping on hardcore mode because I'm a masochist and I want everything I do to have meaning in some way. Now you get the gist, so let's get into it. Oh, and make sure you subscribe. We're closing in on the big 100K and that would be great for my massive ego. And addendum, if this video gets 5,000 likes, I'll drop the next one early. That's right, we got like goals now. So hit that button or I'll cry. In all seriousness, enjoy and welcome to Radcraft 2 100 Days. Day one starts off as every 100 days on this platform does. You chop trees. You can't really play Minecraft without chopping trees. It's kind of essential. I also got me some food from just running around, danced with some satyrs, nearly died to a ghost. You know, normal Minecraft things. At night, I used the prefab blueprint I spawned with to make a house. It was quicker than building one myself, and I really don't want to be outside at night because I have no goddamn clue what's out there in this mod. One thing to note here is that I'm a failure and bad at everything. So for the first three days of this 100 days, there's no gameplay audio. Don't worry, it gets fixed later. Just bear with it for now. Day two of no audio in this game, I tried to manage all the numbers on my screen. I had no idea what the hell they meant, but I'm sure they aren't super important or anything or like vital to this 100 days. <coughs> hint, hint. Then I got scared half to death by a wraith and found a dungeon while trying to mine for iron. Now, any sane person would have stayed the hell away from this fucking dungeon. But you're on Eclipse, and my brand isn't smart. So I dived right in, and then the game fucked me. You are not skilled enough to use an iron pickaxe as a tool. You did not just RO craft me. I did not just get RL crafted. Okay, let me explain why the hell I couldn't use that pick. You know all those numbers that were cluttering my screen? Yeah, it turns out they are really important. They are your skill levels, and everything, I mean everything in this game, has a skill level minimum. For example, a diamond pickaxe is gathering level 40, an iron one is level 20, and my sorry ass currently is gathering level five. So, we're using stone, I guess. After nearly dying to a big titty goth girl, I went to go mine trees because I'm too stupid to hold an iron pick. I stayed out a little into the night grinding my gathering skills, so I'm squatting in someone's house tonight and searching through the quest book. And holy fuck this book is expansive! It reminds me of MC Eternals and that makes me really excited. Oh, and this also reminds me of MC Eternal. Hello there. No thank you. No, thank you. No, actually. No, actually, no. Actually, no, thank you. Actually, I'm good. Actually, I'll pass. Actually, I've, I've, I've ran the numbers, crunched the digits, and I don't think that's in the cards for me today. So I'm going to run to my home. Why the fuck did a giant soul death mage just... So uncivilized. What just happened? Thank you, game. Very, very helpful tip. Day four, I found a mine shaft, and wearing leather pants and leather boots, I say I'm pretty prepared. Laughs and I'm gonna die. Here's some footage of me getting stuff I can't fucking use, and some more stuff I can't fucking use. Keep an eye on that mirror though, it says it needs magic two to use. Guess how much magic I have? Fucking zero! And a ghost dropped a diamond that, guess what? I can't fucking use! Ugh. This is starting to feel like a bungula all over again. At night, I started completing some of my quests and got randomite ore. It dropped slime balls, cause that makes sense. Day five, I'm just mining trees all day, gathering XP. Uh, look, man, I'm really sick of using stone tools. Oh, hey, look, a giant. I'm just really sick of stone tools. So I mine trees all day with Fane Miner till voila, I could finally wield an iron ax. You were not skilled enough to use iron ax as a weapon? Oh man, go fuck yourself. Oh, go fuck yourself. Day six, I'm fighting the skeleton and picked up a health orb from it. That healed me back up to full health. Pretty neat. No fucking way. It's a terrible idea to be down here, but at least I found a bow that I can actually use. 
While rat tunneling, also known as runneling, through this dungeon, I started to hear nether portal sounds as well. And I'm pretty sure that juice would kill me. At the bottom of this dungeon though, I had an idea. If I use slabs to my advantage, I can make it so these skeletons from the spawner can hurt me, kinda. And what I'll do with that is grind my combat. Cause my combat is so low right now, I can't even wield an iron sword. Like I said, I'm fucking sick of stone already. You know, in other hundred days, by day six, I'd have full diamond by now. Don't believe me? Go watch the other ones, shameless plug. Day seven, I ended up just grinding my endurance as well because some of these skeletons just set me on fire, which in any other circumstance would piss me off. But if I ever wanna wear iron armor, yeah, that's how low the bar is. I gotta get to level 15 and I'm like six or seven right now. And everything hurts a lot. This is the shit that I can wear right now. Look at it. Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! Anyway, grinding took up all of day seven. I'm bleeding, yay! <sighs> day eight and I'm officially now level 25. I know I've spent a while down here, but the good news is I can wield iron weapons. Not iron tools, but iron weapons. So now it's time to get iron armor, which means more endurance training. But I've got an idea. You see, if I take this magma block and then I just, aha! And this quest book gives me the regen charm for getting iron weapons, so now I can get health back from sitting on the magma block, and I've cheesed. Cheese. I dub this strat Dumb Fuck Magma Block Training, or DFMBT for short. Day nine, and after the DFMBT, I really needed to repair my armor, so I'm smelting iron. In the meantime, I don't think I've talked about this yet, but if you get a quest done, sometimes you get these choice rewards that kind of look like diamonds, and they let you choose what you spec into. And this time I specced into magic so I could learn what that mirror does. You see, this mirror is amazing. You right click it and then teleport home, or well, more specifically where your bed is at. And I can just hit this button whenever. It has a 20 second cooldown and that's it. It doesn't take durability. It's basically an infinite go the fuck home button. So I have deemed this mirror the mirror of go the fuck home. You have no idea how amazing and broken this item is, but you will, trust me. Later in that day, I was dungeon spelunking cause I can't sit still for too long or my brain gets bored and starts doing whatever it wants. I got some pretty good armor. Can't really do much with it yet, but it's nice to have for the future. And day 10, I'm going out to adventure cause I need combat and endurance building. And what better way to do it than nearly dying in every structure I come across. Did I mention that I'm a fucking idiot? I did manage to snag my first Ender Pearl today. Endermen are always easy to cheese. Foreshadowing. Did, did you hear that? Hmm, must've been the wind. At the end of the day, I found a well that gives me resistance three if I jump in. So you already know what's going down. Cheese. Day 11 and I've officially run out of food and I'm scrounging for scraps. Whatever could I do? I wish there was something I could do, something to fix my starvation problem anything, but there doesn't seem to be. All right, fine, I'll make a fucking farm. Don't wanna farm, wanna go on adventure. Day 13, I'm still farming and, well, okay. I'm, I, I'm at a loss for words about what happened. So I'm just gonna show you the clip. I, I promise I, 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 I couldn't make this up if I tried. Ha, 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 ha. Ooh, woos and oh, what did I do? What did I do? What the fuck? Is it your doing? Is it the cattail? Is it because I broke a cattail? It's not. Why? What the fuck happened? You know. I could have been a doctor or a lawyer. Instead, I spend my day playing block game where I just watched a thousand rainbow uwu owos pop out of the ground. How do you even explain that to someone? Hey EQ, what do you do for a living? Man, it would be easier to say that I'm a prostitute. Like it genuinely would. Day 14 and I'm on the final day of farming to get all my resources for bread. And at nightfall, I thought I'd get some grinding in and I got myself to level 30. Also, the enemies dropped coins. These can be redeemed in the coin shop and I can get cool stuff depending on the rarity of each coin. So 
Let's talk about it. I got a totem spatial sign thingy from a loot crate. I don't, I don't know what it is. It sounds like a totem of undying, but I don't know. So if any of you guys know what it is, let me know in the comment section below. Oh, and get out a pen and paper, because I've got a lot more questions coming. Tried looking for the wiki for this game, but there like isn't one. It only sent me to the mod pack page, so my dumb ass is turning to the YouTube comment section. Dear God, what have I gotten myself into? Day 15, I copper gave my 64 steak. That's what I wrote on the script. I copper gave me 64 steak. Oh, that's a one. Fuck, I can't read. Thomas, don't keep it in. Thomas, don't. Thomas, we don't need that. We don't need, no, please. Please don't keep that in, Thomas. Day 15, one copper coin gave me 64 steak. So all that farming was fucking useless. Great. More spelunking and grinding. You know the drill by now. That's how we make any progress in this game. Painfully. The next day, I killed the wandering trader because he was an asshole. And here's a boss. Hello. Ah, the, ahem. <clears throat> Zap. Yes, I know them well. I think you shall meet a worthy opponent on this day, for he is called a log that you can't go under. Goodbye, Zap. You've had a good run. God damn, you have a lot of health. This is gonna take a while. Oh! Now, this boss is kind of like the skeleton boss that I found earlier. He's not really hard, but he has like 300 health and like a lot of defense. And whenever you kill him, he drops a cool item. This zombie is a little easier than that because in Minecraft to beat zombies, all you need to do is have a two block high wall. So I gimped that bitch and made my way off with his chest plate and leggings. These leggings are kind of good, but they only have one more defense than iron and have shit durability. Still, it's better than nothing. But hold on to your tits, because this chest plate has unbreaking eight, reinforced seven, and mending for some reason. And instead of being like six or seven or even diamond level with eight defense, it's 10.79, and I only need 20 endurance to wear it. That means I can wear it. That's huge. This is the best defense I've fucking ever had. I'm way too excited for this, but if it means I don't have to get hit for a million damage every three seconds, I'm gonna take it. At night, I did want to test out my new gear, so I went to fight things, and I found this. Pegasus! Pegasus! Oh, Yugi boy. I want, I want, I want, I want, I want, I want, ride. How do I ride a Pegasus? How do I ride a Pegasus? What do you want? Apple? Apple? You want Apple? You like Apple? You love that Apple. How do I Pegasus? I can't get that Pegasus without blaze rods, so it looks like it's time to brave the nether. Look, I want the pony, damn it. Only one problem. I need to be level 40 to use a diamond pickaxe. I'm a god gamer though, so we'll just use the bucket and build speedrun portal technique, you know? I just need to find some lava. Instead, I found a library with a toilet. Close enough. And in the back of the library was a treasure map, so my ADD brain went noom, and we are now off to go find treasure. They customized the F3 in this game as well, so I can't do the trick to find the chests with the 9, 13, 9. I can't do the chunk triangulation, and I'm fucking upset about it. So this may have taken all night. Don't, don't, don't make fun of me in the comment section. This is, look, shut up. This chest was elusive, but eventually I did find it. And then a creeper exploded, and it spawned another creeper and gave me slowness 10. Just, just fuck me, that's why. You know, this game could be a real piece of shit sometimes. Another treasure found it as well, and here I found a glove trinket that ups my damage by one, so that's pretty neat. And nothing else of importance happened that day. Totally nothing. I totally didn't run into a dragon or anything. Is there is there a dragon here? I don't see the dragon at their base. Oh, found her. She's tiny. I bet you she could still one-shot me. Yeah, that mirror is fucking OP. Day 20 and I'm still looking for a giant lava pit. And if I don't find one soon, I think I'm gonna throw myself in one. I did find some good gear, that I can't wear yet, of course, uh, at a dwarven hut, and I stole his magical anvil. Python boss. Nope. Day 21, I found the lava pit and... Oh, you did not just do... You did not just... Radcraft, you son of a bitch! What? 
Okay, so what the fuck? I went to the quest book and it actually shed some light on this fucking shit. Apparently, the nether juice we found in the dungeon, that's a portal. And the only way to get back is to build a golden beacon shrine with four blocks. Until then, if you go to the nether, you're apparently completely stuck. Unless you have the magic mirror. God, this thing is so fucking broken. I really hope the devs don't watch this and patch it out. I like to break every game I play. Please just, just let me have this, devs. I did stay just long enough to get a nether coin and buy blaze rods. And that means I can make this golden lasso and go acquire a pegasus of my own. Her name is Glory, and she will now be my loyal steed. Also, one thing about this mod, uh, ladders work kind of funny. Hey, that's fucking bullshit. Oh my god! Okay, I at least deserve some props for that clutch, right? Right? Like, that's where the subscribe, maybe? Or like, uh, come on. The video would have ended right there if I fucking missed. Dude, that, that, that's worth a subscribe. Come on, just hit the fucking subscribe. Thank you, Leaf. Good. Day 23, more structure looting, and uh, this boat was disappointing. I did find a snorkel trinket later that day that will let me breathe underwater, but you guessed it. I'm too low level to fucking use it. I need to be level four in swimming, and I'm level zero. Day 24, I need a saddle. How else am I gonna fly on glory? Apparently you need a saddle, and apparently they're really hard to find. I found these magma boots, so now I can walk on lava. That's not what I'm looking for, but great. Also, the mirror save number 4,756 is coming up, and it's a blood moon tonight. What's that, viewer? You don't know what a blood moon is? Well, mobs are dick fuck strong and can spawn everywhere, and sleep just doesn't work. So I employ the strat of hide underground like a little baby bitch and gamble. Gambling is paid off, and in a couple hours, the blood moon is set, and we're now on to day 25. Day 25, a wandering trader had really fast shoes. You wanna see me buy them? You wanna see me do it again? Also got me an invincibility frame increasing cross, and a jump height increasing bobble, so decking myself out today in trinkets. Day 26, I found a plague doctor, and that becomes insanely cracked if it gets hit by lightning. So I took it out. Split. I'm not taking any chances. Now back at home, and my chests are big fucking full. Like I can't put anything else in these fuckers. I've filled up all my barrels, I filled up all my chests. And regular viewers on this channel are probably already frothing at the mouth in excitement. Everyone else must be confused, but don't worry. I'll enlighten you. It's time for... <clears throat> oh! Day 27, we're using the simple storage network so I can easily organize all my bullshit with no effort. By the end of day 27, the storage network is set up and I can just shove everything in there and be right as rain. At night, while I was digging for building blocks, I found a backpack and a chest, so now I have even more space. So I shouldn't have any organizational problems ever again. I got a backpack! Fuck you! Fuck you! I got a backpack! Backpack, backpack, roly poly backpack, suck a fucking dick, eat my motherfucking ball sack, Hey! Day 28, I'm spending the whole day making the base look pretty. And you know, I've done a lot of mining, but there's a whole other word in this game title. So speaking of which, day 29, I crafted 14 shovels. Why, no! Oh! <laughs> Oh no! I promise that was not on purpose. It just, I hit the shift click button and now I have 14 shovels. And I'm making pathways around this fucking base. Day 30, I made a bridge to connect my farm to my house so we finally have a place to call home. And I'm only gonna build on this as the 100 days goes on. That is just mean to... Nope, 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 don't know what that was, but it was big, it was scary, and I am not fucking with it. Is that a dead dragon? Oh my god, it is. I ran over and took all their bones, and with a wither bone for the handle, I can make a dragon bone sword. That I can't fucking use! <laughs> not only do I need endurance 50, I need dragon slayer 6! This is basically a paperweight. I'm never getting that. Fuck! I just want good weapons, man. I'm sick of using iron swords for fucking everything. They're weak as shit and break easily. Today, I'm sitting here and grinding fucking everything. I'm level 27 in endurance and 38 in combat, and it's not good enough. 
I'm still doing this on day 33. The notes also say that I'm currently watching a Nintendo Direct at this time, and apparently it was just as boring. Are we talking about the Nintendo Direct that showed off a ton of information about Pikmin 4, Game Boy and Game Boy Advance coming to Nintendo Switch Online, Metroid Prime Remastered, and the return of Professor Layton? EQ. Wrong opinion. But as if the game could tell that I was bored, it threw me a bone. The Undead Army is three waves of skeletons and zombies that were really easy to knock out. And afterwards, I got a bag of bullshit as a reward. Inside was a useless bandage and a fucking notch apple. But the main thing was the endurance training that I got. Not enough though, so it's back to smacking withers on day 34. Now these withers obviously are a bit stronger and drop a bit better loot because they're champions at the bottom of this dungeon. But what I didn't know is that they can drop a green potion of life saving. Let me tell you what this fucking potion does for a second. All right, let me get a little close to the mic, a little sensual here, ready? <clears throat> it gives me regen three, absorption 75. 70 fucking five. Holy shit. And I'm just farming these potions. I'm also getting ogre strength three potions and I'm getting my combat experience. So I'm doing real good today. Once I get to level 45, I can wield a diamond sword and that's really substantial because I have so many enchants that have been dropped from these skeletons with swords. Get over here wither skeleton. You're making this happen. 44.99, 45. I can now go behind me, take a diamond and a stick, make a diamond sword. I've never felt so earned for just a diamond sword. Oh, fuck you. And now I can finally use diamond swords. Fuck yes. To celebrate, I went to bed. I think a lot of us can relate with that. 1990. Day 37, I'm combining all of my swords and books to make the strongest sword I can. Two things though. One, it was fucking expensive. Two, the sword I used was sluggish, which means that shit hits 20% slower. I'm not very smart. I know you're gonna be writing in the comment section, EQ Dum Dum. Just let me do it for you. I'll write EQ Dum Dum at the comment section. I'm gonna pin it too, fuck that. I also know that people will be writing in the comment section that I shouldn't have just anviled everything together and maybe should have just enchanted some diamond swords because I was level 100. Let me beat you to that. I haven't done basic enchanting because I haven't made an enchanting table because I still can't hold a diamond pickaxe. So that means no obsidian, no enchantment table, and no enchants. So the best way that I could get a cracked weapon was anvil. Well. I say cracked, it does nine and a half damage. So it's better than six, but it's nothing amazing. It's good enough for now though. Day 38, I put on the snorkel and remembered I'm still not level four, but small victories, I'm now level 30 in endurance by getting abused by every fucking enemy. This day is a bit more calm though. I'm just kind of swimming back and forth to get to level four for swimming. The one time I put a sip in my mouth, the one time. It was so stupid. The one time I got dicks in my mouth, I level up to level four swimming and can put on the snorkel. Boom, chat. We now can just breathe underwater. Yay. Now the ocean is unlocked, so to speak. So let's go loot and pillage. I'm in the deep frozen ocean now, just looking for treasure, but there are crazy things here, like the sea serpent. That's a whale. Is that aggressive? No, but that is. No, but that is. No, but that is. Okay. Huh, that didn't kill me. The ice and fire sea serpents and other mods like MC Eternal or RL Craft completely one shot you. But here, that gives me a really bad idea. Let's fight a dragon. Sup, bitch? How have you been? No, get on the ground. Scaring me. All right, here's the strat, chat. Okay, 
That kind of feels like cheating, but this shit's in hardcore, so fuck you, I don't give a shit. But you know damn well I'm coming back to finish the job. So you might call that unfair, I call it business. Get back here, bitch. Okay, all right, damn. All right, damn. All right, damn, that was rude. 69 health, wolf, and dead. <laughs> Reach 10 XP in Dragon Slayer. Well, what does that mean? Well, what does it mean? 1.39. Fuck! I gotta kill so many goddamn dragons! Day 40, I'm. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, I got earplugs. We're good now. And then I found that sea serpent again. Sea serpent scales, sea serpent fangs, suck my sea serpent dick. And I also got a saddle. Things are looking up for EQ on day 40. Now let's talk about that sea serpent for a second. He drops scales and claws, and that's almost everything I need to make a legendary item, the sea serpent trident. But I'm missing one thing, and that is an ingot of Neptunium. And I think I'm gonna go get one. Day 41 with my saddle, I wanted to see if I could fly on glory, and you know what? I can! I can fly so fucking well that my game crashes. It says, and I quote, com.kevun1.soulpotato.tracking.benefits.effect.benefits capability. Player must have a benefits capability attached, but none was found. And that sounds like something Will would do, honestly. Okay, hold up. Everything looks different. Don't worry about the face cam at the top right and the maid outfit. Hold, just hold up. Just hold on. Let me explain. To get the one Neptunium ingot I need to make the trident, you need to fish for Neptune's bounty, which has a like 1.5% chance of you getting it in one of the five item pools that you could fish up with Aquaculture, the, the, the mod that this revolves around. That could take forever, so I streamed me doing it over on my second channel, Eclipse Again. If you didn't know, I have a second channel. You do now know, go subscribe, link in the description. As for the maid outfit, uh, go subscribe, you'll figure it out. We're fucking crazy over on Eclipse Again. And sub here while you're at it, cause I just fished for an hour and a half to get this. Oh! I got it, 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 I got it. Fuck you, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, baby. I got it! I got it! Yo! 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 Yes! What are you gonna get? What are you gonna get? Open it! Open it! Open it! And we got one! That's it! That's all I needed! That's all I fucking needed! Neptunium sword! Oh shit! Day 46, I tried to grind my combat up to level 50 so I can use this new trident, but I kinda failed today. I think I might go off exploring and try to hit level 50. I'm at like 42, so I'm really far off, but I need to get there. Oh my God. Dude, you are packing a stick. Holy shit. You versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. Oh my God, die. And then I stopped playing Minecraft for about three weeks. Why? Well, I went to the hospital. Here's a pick. And after I came back, I uh, oh, I forgot almost everything about this game. So I do stuff like this. Do I take fall damage? I don't think I do. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Quest complete, what do you mean? Quite, ah! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> That's not fair! <laughs> okay, guess I'll give a little bit more context for those that care. I went to the hospital because I have diabetes now. Is that good enough? I, I think it'll be way more fun to talk about what happened than why I went. So everyone sit down for another EQ story time. Well, I went to the hospital because my pancreas just stopped producing insulin and didn't tell me about it. it. I didn't get like a little phone call or something that just said, hey, ring, ring, you're diabetic now, bitch. Instead, my blood sugar just kept rising. And to top it all off, I had no idea that that was happening and the timing of the world is just impeccable because I was gonna do a live stream over on Eclipse again. As it started, my roommate came home. No problem, she's great. The problem was she brought me a little something. The One Chip Challenge. 2022 edition specifically, the blue one. And yes, I'll let you see the clip in a second, but I was freaking out when I got it. If you guys don't know, I can't fucking stand spicy things. Like, I'm the biggest pussy in the world. Like, big, like, like, I get the fucking Grammy of can't handle spice, okay? 
I genuinely was afraid of this thing. And for good reason. It actually ended up being the hottest thing I've ever put in my mouth. And keep in mind, my pancreas has given up at this point and just has not told me about it. Man's clocked out and said, fuck you, I'm not processing anything anymore. And then I go and do this. <laughs> Thomas, give him the clip. That's gonna Jared, have to I don't think you should have said that. Anubis. Oh God, oh God, he did it, oh God, he did it, he did it, he did it. Oh, oh, oh. No, face this way, honey bun. Honey bun? Oh, oh, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> I needed that to get it down. You gotta spit it out, you gotta spit it out if you gotta mm. spit it out, bro. It's fucking down, fuck you. If you're gonna... This gon' suck! Oh, no! Oh, 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 oh fuck you! Take in your mouth, brother. <laughs> Is that what they call <laughs> shock? <laughs> he looks like his face, but when he drinks regular hot sauce, <laughs> he's always in pain. <laughs> the drink milk took about 10 seconds. <laughs> Oh my god! Huh. Gloves off, right. <laughs> oh my god! I don't think that's gonna be enough milk. No, no it's 100% not. This was the hottest thing I've ever put in my mouth. And yes, I bitched out with milk immediately, but fuck you, that was crazy. Also, like full on disclaimer, I don't want anyone to be worried about me. I'm healthy now and I'm staying healthy. And with my diabetes, I'm on top of everything. Anyways, you didn't come here for culinary EQ. You came here for some Minecraft bullshit. So now where were we? Day 49, I got infinity from my skeletons. Fuck yeah. And then the spawner died. Just like my pancreas, it just gave the fuck up, and now it doesn't produce skeletons. I mean, my pancreas never produced skeletons, it made insulin. Uh, now they do neither. Now I can only grind against the wither skeletons. Day 50 was another undead army. Uh, they're boring, and at night spawned another boss. His name, I <laughs> shit you not. I shit you not. His name, his name <clears throat> was Dongerper. <laughs> Dongerperper? I, I, there's no way his name is. Dongerper. It's Dongerper? Hello, Dongerper. Welcome to the welcome to giving me a lot of XP. You are very helpful today. Dongerper. Your name is Dongerper. Your name was Dongerper? I can't believe your name was Dongerper. Wait a minute, that's a boss boss. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. The loot wasn't that good, but I get bragging rights for killing Dongerper. <laughs> Fucking dongerper. Day 51, I'm trying to get that last goddamn level I need for the trident. And then I found this in a dungeon. <gasps> Enchantment table. Give emeralds, discs, discs. Oh, that was so helpful, holy shit. Give me a lectern too. I, there's, there was a secret enchantment table room. I can't build enchantment tables, so that's awesome. This is huge. Watch me never use it, <laughs> bet. In the dungeon, I also found a horseshoe that lets me completely negate fall damage. So now, I don't actually take fall damage. Day 52, it finally happened. Come on, come on, come on! Come on! Six, seven, you son of a bitch, get over here so I can smack you. Seven, eight, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. I've been doing this for so long. Come on. Nine. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Ah, I can use this fucking trident now. All right, I'm going home. See you, bitches. Oh, hell yes. I spent the latter half of the day making the enchantment room in my little cave underneath my house. I gotta make things purdy. I can't always be adventuring. Anyways, back to adventuring. Together as one to complete my penis that we've begun. There he is. 
I killed a wandering illager and got bad omen. And now I want a totem of undying. So let's go do a raid. I definitely need a cracked out bow for this. So I fused everything that I could from all my other bows because I still don't have bookshelves. And now I've only just started sugarcane farming because now I have an enchantment table. Had no reason to before. And on my way to the nearest village that actually had villagers in it, I found a Cyclops and gunned him down with that new bow for some insane archery XP. I literally went from level one to 13. And here's the raid. There's a world of possibilities outside your door. Why settle for a little, you can get much more. No need an invitation every day is, oh fuck. Those are new, that's an evoke or two. That's an evoke or two. This is a problem. So have some fun. Who the fuck are you? Summer belongs to you. Enchanter. No, actually, no. Just a nuisance and a bother. Today I can't imagine heaven. Holy fucking shit. All right. I get it. Raid time. Oh god. Fuck that. The raids are a little different now. A little, little, little different now. Also, I don't think it's fair that the first time I see an enchanter, uh, it's a level two boss. That's a little, that's a little fucky. Oh, the raid's continuing. Oh, that's good and bad. That's good and bad. Up, up, out of the pit. Out of the pit of fuckitude. Out of the pit. It, it, it works great with normal raiders. Um... There are new ones. Like the fucking golem over there. He's fucking seven feet tall. Okay, that's actually not that bad. He's like 20 feet tall. That's way, that makes way more sense. What in the fuck are you? Black iron golem. Okay, well that's demonic. Is, uh, he's losing two health per arrow and is angry and is real angry that I started hitting him. <laughs> he's real upset. I'm just gonna stay up in this tree and people in the comment section are gonna just be mad at me and that's cool. That's okay. That's fine. <laughs> we can just be all right with that. We could just, that's fine. The, the black iron golem of, of doom down here, we don't need to deal with. Hey, stop. Stop that. Stop that. I don't know what the fuck that is, but stop it. All right? You ever you, you get that? He's throwing fireballs at me! I am all for the, as soon as an evoker shows up, we kill it and then run away and let the villagers just deal with this raid. I think I'm, I'm all for that, because this is a level one raid and I don't feel very safe. He's throwing explosions now! Oh God. Uh, okay, so Necromancer does necromancy things. Who would have thought? Why does this Vindicator have weird glasses? Oh, the Necromancer spawns zombies. That does make sense. That would be what a Necromancer would do. Kitsune Alex. No. No. Actually, though. Actually, no. Please have dropped the totem. You might do it. You do! You do! You drop a totem of undying! Go, 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 go! Fly through my fucking shield. Who needs it? Who needs it? Who needs it? Who needs it? No one cares. Fuck the shield. We got a totem, bitch. We got a totem, bitch. We got a totem, bitch. And my balls are exploding. Please stop exploding my balls. I guess we're just gonna keep going with the raid. Fuck it. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Throw it in a bucket. Kill your fucking dog. Don't do that one. Normal Vindicator, not normal Vindicator. Skirmisher, Skirmisher, not normal Vindicator at all. Not normal Vindicator at all. Not normal Vindicator at all. Oh my god. Okay, six health, six health. Oh god, and he took about 15? 15? Okay, more like 10. But he took about 10 hearts. That's not good. They broke everything I have. I just realized they broke all my gear. All my gear's broken. That's why everything is hurting so much. I'll have you know if I kill this pillager, uh, or this vindicator, and it says like level, um, the next level of the raid, I'm dipping so ungodly fast. Ow. You were mean to my feelings and my bones. Mainly my bones. Okay, who did you just summon? Why is there 14 other in, oh. I think that's all she wrote. Thank God this chest plate is still here because that's my best item. 
I can get other stuff back. That chest plate, I cannot, though. Grab my emeralds. Um, I got one totem. Good enough. Holy shit. So to get my endurance up, I went to fight Skeletellas and this happened. What do you mean a blood moon rises, dude? Excuse me, I, I'm sorry, Blood Moon's not that bad. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry for complaining. What just happened? What just fucking happened? I did manage to snag a new helmet for me to wear though, so that's good. And day 56, I found a village with a bestiary, which lets me be able to complete quests from the dragon section of my quest book now. And fuck it, I'm a lot stronger. Let's fight this python. Whoa, he spat, come at me. He spat, come in my mouth. Ah. Mouth come. Bruh. No. No. Okay, I hit him. Okay, I hit him. Okay, I hit him. Okay, I hit him. Okay, um, I am consistently hitting him. Boom, bitch! Python gun! I'm so close to a level 40 endurance which isn't anything special, but it's a round number, and every 10 levels, I get another max heart, which is really cool. So I got that on day 58. Come on, level 40. <laughs> Woo! Extra heart and level 40, plus 4% endurance. Woo! I still got five more levels to go before I could put on diamond. Suck my fucking titties. Day 59, and I'm in the nether for real now. It's time to get blaze rods. Minecraft is still Minecraft, and I need those to fuck the dragon. But I can't seem to find a fortress. I found an onion crate, but I don't think that helps me very much. Day 60, I didn't find a fortress, per se, but I did find a blaze spawner. So I'm sitting here getting rods, endurance, and they're dropping a shit ton of nether coins. And I realized something. Nether coins can buy obsidian. A little late for that, considering I found an enchanting table, so it's useless, but hey, I can have obsidian. Oh God, serpent. Oh God, serpent. Oh God, serpent. Oh God. Steal from him and run away. The, the symphony and birds are trying to kill the fucking Hydra. That's not gonna work, buddies. Gapple, gapple. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. I run away now. I run away. I run away big good. Big goodly I run. Big goodly I good run. I big good. <laughs> Later in the day, I found an Indiana Jones style temple and went inside. Did all the parkour and at the end, there was a puzzle to open a piston door. My solution was pickaxe. Okay, I may have cheated a little, but <laughs> I got everything inside. I feel so much like a failure. I couldn't figure out the puzzle, so I just broke the door. I'm in the I'm in the room of winner, but I don't feel like a winner. I didn't earn it. Day 62, a map that I'd found took me to a village. I thought this was some kind of temple, but it's just a place where the villagers are just straight up vibing. And I was fucking chilling as well. I was getting books from bookshelves and thinking about trades I could do when it became another fucking blood moon. Someone call Eggman, because I'm sick of this fucking moon. I come to make an announcement. Funny thing, the villagers all tried to go to bed, but since it's a blood moon, you can't sleep, so they just fucking stood there at their beds all night, and I find that really funny. Day 63, you're watching footage of me trying to get a mending book villager to happen. Don't worry about the price increase. Nothing happened. There was no villager abuse, I swear. I spent all day trying to get mending, only to find out you can't. Like at all. The only way to get mending is by making an altar and putting different crystal shards in it. All of this can only be done in the end dimension. So I really hope my 400 durability trident's got enough juice in it to get me there. Speaking of which, day 64, I sat back and prepped my gear and new weapons. Or at least I would have if there wasn't another fucking undead army. Killed them and now we're back to business. This trident, let's talk about it for a second. I've cracked it out as much as I can. It now does 14 and a half damage a hit. Huge jump from our 9.5. And it also has life mending on it. This is a little risky. 
Life Mending will use my regen hearts to repair its durability, but we don't have to worry about it breaking now. I also wanted to put Leech on it to sap hearts, but the, this counts as a trident and not a sword, and only trident and chance worked on it, so this was the best I could do. Should be enough though. And now I want another legendary item, the Healing Staff. Day 65, and to get this Healing Staff, I need more Python skin, so it's Python murder time. Now that I know these creatures are easy to fuck up, one, two, three, Python's dead. One thing that's hilarious about day 65 though, is that I was running through the jungle looking for pythons, and I found this purple plant, and this happened. Yo. Jennifer dumped me. That did not just make a Game Grumps reference. That was not, I did not just get Game Grumps. Jennifer dumped me, are you shitting me? That purple plant did not just give me the achievement, Jennifer dumped me. And then I found a dragon and fucking dipped. Nope, that's a dragon. Nope, that's a dragon. And I did not know where anything was. I, I just like panicked. Fuck that. Day 66, I crafted the healing staff and look at this fucking shit. Turns out the healing staff shoots a healing energy beam that heals other players. I'm playing single player. So all of this was completely fucking useless for me. Well, back to looking for enderpearls. At night, I found a boat with a lot of pillagers on it and really shit loot. Day 67, I found another pyramid, and if I don't show you the footage, you wouldn't believe me, because I got four notch apples, one in each chest. Fucking wild. Day 68, I got myself bad omen again, and this is hardcore, so I need as many totems as I can get. Plus, I'm much stronger now, so I should be able to do some damage this time around to the raid. When nightfall came though, I couldn't find the last fucking guy. I have no idea where the hell he went. It didn't help that there was a giant crevasse at the fucking middle of our village that they would just fall into. I wish I had time to find him, but sadly I don't, cause it's day 69. Every 100 days on day 69, I make a sign to celebrate the funny sex number. And this 100 days is gonna be no different. Especially because I'm really liking this world at Mod Pack. Definitely liking it enough for a two, maybe even 300 days. Wink, wink. Make sure you uh, hit that like button. So we need a grandiose sign, and I think I found a way to make it unique. For some reason, this 100 days has been kind of water themed. Y'all notice that? The Poseidon trident, breathing underwater, the aqua shoe trinket. I'm kind of overpowered in the water, so ocean themey is pretty cool. So instead of making a giant sign in the sky at my base, I dug out a hole and in the water, built it into my river. It needs glowy blocks still, but it looks really good. And yes, I built the numbers with emeralds just to flex, cause I damn sure can't use them. Fucking endurance level 50. Endurance level 50 to use that shit. Go fuck yourself. Day 70, we're gonna keep the renovations rolling. I'm gonna be living here my whole life, so I'm gonna make it super pretty. And I lit up the 69 sign so we can bathe in its majesty at nighttime as well. Nice. Day 71, I'm making a pathway to the waystone that's next to my base. Apparently there's a shop where you can buy waystones and I could put one wherever I want, but I can't figure out how the fuck to find that shop. If anyone in the comments knows how, please let me know. So since I can't move it, uh, we're gonna just make a pathway to the one that's next to my base. Day 72, nothing happened. I literally don't have any notes, so I'm guessing nothing happened. Day 73, right under my base is Glowcelium Cave, and that looks beautiful. And these blocks glow, so they're all mine now, and I'm gonna light up my base with it. Look at how nice this is all coming together. This shit's awesome. Day 75 is the last day of renovations. I know that took a long time, but we are blowing right past it, and my fucking base is pretty cool now, so fuck you, I'm happy. Now back to the nether. In the nether, and I'm looking for enemies to kill, cause I want nether coins. What I found instead was a bastion, and then my heart stopped. Oh, um, I set my quality com to like low and I had the least amount of problems, but there were still times where it just, w uh oh. Oh, come on game. Great timing, great timing. Frames, frames, look at me bathe my body. Frames, 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 I saw your dick, but it's fine, we're friends. Friends, 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 oh, don't take a nasty pick. Friends, 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 the loveliest friends you've ever seen. Friends, 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 take a giant look at my giant peen. Woo! Ho! Oh, fuck! Holy shit! Holy shit. Holy 
fuck! Okay. Uh, that cracked my- that did not crack my totem! Oh, we're good! Nice! I blame that on lag. I don't know how, but I blame that on lag. Day 77, I made a face and found a friend. He's mine now. Forever. Day 78, while getting nether coins, a minor dwarf came up to me, and he was selling a totem of undying for two netherite ingots. Now, I have no use for netherite, because I'm too low level to use it, but it's a reward you can get for nether coins. And I found some pretty easy cheese where each magma slime, like the little baby ones after you break them apart, have a pretty high chance of dropping the coins. So after a couple minutes of farming, I bought me that totem. So now I'm up to three. Feeling a little bit safer now. Let's go kill a dragon. Like, like just fuck it. Like look at all this shit I have. I'm, I'm good. I'll be able to handle one. Let's fucking just do it. An ogre potion gives me strength three, regen three, and then I can just crack out some life-saving potions because I got fucking five of them. Let's go see if we could fucking, we'll make sure this is all on a hundred. If, if, if this is going to help me get some endurance up so I can get, so I can wear diamond gear. Let's go fuck a dragon. I mean, fuck up a dragon. I, 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 mean, I mean, Thomas, cut that one out. Hi, bitch. Welcome to the party, motherfucker. How you doing? Bet you didn't think I was doing this, did you, fucker? Good morning! Dead. Dead. Dead, I win. I win. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, one potion. One potion is all it took. My endurance went up 0.1. I'm gonna fucking scream. Bought myself another dragon, and I'm now two levels away from endurance 45. I don't know if you've noticed, but this whole time I've been trying to get hit as much as possible. I'm not bad at the game. I'm intentionally sucking dick so that my endurance goes up. And now we are two levels away from being able to wear diamond armor. Fucking 80 days into this and I still can't wear diamond. Speaking of day 80, I bopped the lightning dragon on the head. These life-saving potions are a real lifesaver. Speaking of which, I wasn't recording. <laughs> I've been running around all day and I wasn't recording. Good. 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 Didn't record. Very smart. Fuck. I, my, I just wrote in my notes, good didn't recording fuck. <laughs> day 81 and I'm still spamming endurance. Every quest choice reward I get is going into it as well. I'm trying, I'm just really trying to get there. One thing to note though, it seems like the quest choice rewards for killing mobs gives more endurance, which I think makes sense. So I'm taking out specific mobs now, like 100 zombies. So day 82, I'm in the bottom of a dungeon just whacking me some zombies. And at the tail end of this day, I do manage to get to level 44. I'm so fucking close. That's what she said. And day 83, this happened. Okay, you are a little strong. Maybe you should like relax. I'm doing four damage. We're, we're, we're really, we're, Problems. I just ate my first gold or er, enchanted gapple. I got it. There's level 100. I'm leaving. Woo! That was a near death experience. But at nighttime, 83 days in, I finally did it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh my god. Come on. Come on. Hit me. Hit me. Stop trying to hit me and fucking hit me. Yes! Currently 83 days, 83 days, 25 hours of gameplay. And wh look what I can do now, motherfuckers. Look what I can do. Look, wh look what I got. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bing. Fuck you. I can wear diamond now. Day 84, it's diamond armor time. After fusing everything I can together, this is my new drip. I have a couple more enchants that I need to put on my gear, and to do that, I'm gonna grind nether coins for bottles of enchanting. While doing that, though, I found this. Ah! 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 What the fuck is that? What, what, what the fuck is that? What? Is, what? I, what you, you did not just jump up here. All right, you're dying. I need you out of my life. The fungus thrower. Cool. Dead now. 
of the day though, I'm cracked out now and I feel way more safer about going into the end. Cause there's something interesting about the end in this mod pack. Also it's hardcore, so everything hits really hard. Day 86, I'm prepping for the end and I had an epiphany. I need a diamond pickaxe. Cause there might be resources and materials that will only break with an obsidian level pick. Only problem is my gathering is still like 28. So there's a simple solution. It's called eco-terrorism. I made a million iron axes and ran to forests with huge trees and just got to chopping with vein miner. More eco-terrorism on day 88, but my gathering is going up super fast. And um, I fucked up another dragon. Finally, on day 89, I'm a level 40 gatherer. I can now, almost at the end of the 100 days, wield and use a diamond fucking tool. So now, I'm ready for the dragon. There's nothing else I need, <clears throat> foreshadowing. Day 90, I chucked the first eye and started my trek to the stronghold. End of day 90, literally fucking 20 minutes of running, digging into the stronghold, I found another boss. Er, 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 Ergraba? Er, Ergraba, I don't know how to say their name. Agraba. Killing them, their pants kind of sucked, so I was sad. Then I got the worst possible news ever. I broke into the stronghold and it's fucking massive. This stronghold is from Young's Better Strongholds mod. And I fucking hate it. I fucking hate trying to find the portal in this. Day 91, I'm lost in this fucking maze of rooms, libraries, broken structures, intersected with natural caves, and my life is hell. And to top it all off, I accidentally do this. I, no, I did, fuck! I went to bed after this. I stopped recording. I went to bed. I gave up. Day 92 and I'm running back to the fucking stronghold all irritated and shit. And I found something that I didn't see before. What did I find? This is not the stronghold. Oh dear. Oh dear. You know, may maybe we just don't. Maybe that's, that's a 200 days thing. That's a 200 days thing. And back into the gray maze of fuckitude. And I'm searching through the stronghold. I found a fucking nether portal. I don't think this game knows that that doesn't work anymore. And then, I didn't mean it, but just look what happens. No! Dude! Today is just not a good day. I did not mean to right click that bed. Now my spawn point is in this fucking gray maze of hell. Found a blobfish though, so that's nice, I guess. Day 93, I'm not joking, I still can't find this fucking portal. It took me one hour, literally one real life hour of playing Minecraft in the fucking stronghold to find the portal. But on day 94, there it is. And um, you remember when I said foreshadowing like two minutes ago? People in the comment section are literally gonna roll me for this and they're gonna think it's bait. Um, but I promise I'm not stalling for days. I, I, I promise I'm really not trying to just make it to number 100. What don't you see in this inventory? My bow is left at home. to go back and get it. I have to go back home again. <laughs> Fuck. So for the third time, I ran back home manually because I fucked up my spawn point and can't use the mirror. Got my infinity bow, ran all the way back to the fucking portal, dug down, nearly fell in. And now what you've all been waiting for, we can fight the ender dragon. Expert mode. The ancient spirits of light and dark have been released, and it's the fucking hard version. God damn it. Fucking awesome. Oh, less awesome. Get the move. I'm busy. Oh, did I do that? Wow. Wait, did my bow just pierce? 
like through the dragon and keep shooting? I think it did. That's a neat trick. He put it back. Excuse me. Excuse me. You just you don't get to just do that. No, no. No, no, no. He fucking chained it too. Jackass. on killing your first dragon. Be aware that every dragon you kill will make the next one harder to fight. Oh, fuck you. Slaying the end tyrant has unleashed the power of, the true power of monsters. Plus 10 XP in light. Free the end. Master mode. Impending doom approaches. Well, that sounds absolutely friendly. 200 days sounds like it's gonna be super easy. Make sure you hit that like button because it's gonna be a piece of cake. Fuck. Life crashes, I'm not the guy that'll flee the scene. No! The egg, I hit the egg, you know, to like move it so then I can put a torch down and it teleported right above the fucking portal and went to spawn. It's okay. That's a 200 days problem. I still need to get Elytra. Black Day 96, we entered the like end proper. Usually. Can I go? That was probably my biggest now, mistake Mama. of this video. You know all the fuck ups you've just watched? That, <laughs> Why not? Th what I just did is the most fucky uppiest. Thank you. You see that warning saying that the evil's been unleashed? Do you remember that? That wasn't just for show. For example, I accidentally looked at an Enderman and this happened. I've already pissed off a goddamn Enderman. What? What? New feature, new feature, new feature, new feature. You piss off one, you piss off all. Eclipse has made the uh, advancement, I am Confucian. Oh, fuck, this is fun. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, this seems good. Yeah, I like that. And if that's not bad enough, I've never heard of this mod, but there are things called the Ender Scent. And this was my first interaction with one. Ender Scent, Ender Scent. Two, two Ender Scent. What are Ender Scent? They have a boss health bar, which means I am automatically not happy. Holy shit, what is that? <laughs> no, fuck you, nope, nope. I've never seen these creatures before. This is all new. Oh my God, what is it? What is it? I feel only safe in the water. It's coming for me. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! How am I supposed to do anything? How am I supposed to do anything in this dimension? Anything! How am I supposed to do anything? Fuck! D these creatures are... Demonic! The end here is fucking insane. You can't look at an Enderman, and there are spitters, Ender Sense, and other demons like these upgraded phantoms called the Ender Guardians. There's just so fucking much here. I, I don't think I'm ready for it. 
I am literally having to repair my diamond armor right now because this dimension has already fucked it that hard. I just want to find wings and get out of here. I did find a shitty end city and no, it didn't have what I need. Getting around in the end without Elytra is so fucking hard with all these biomes and all these hostile entities. I'm gonna fucking die if I stay here. Oh, and here comes the fucking watchling. Oh, and there's two of them. Fuck off. And now I've pissed off an Enderman. So now the end is basically unlivable. Great. And I don't have Ender Pearls because. <sighs> Go away. Un aggro. Un aggro. Well, you're a level two? Un aggro. Un aggro. Un aggro. Oh my god. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this might be where our end adventure ends. I might be smacking the fuck out of this mirror. No elytra today. Fuck my entire ass. Still the most broken item in the game. Please devs do not patch my mirror. Let me have my mirror. Well, I guess we're gonna have to get elytra in 200 days. I'm out of time. So make sure you hit that like button because once again, if this video gets 5,000 likes, I'll pump out a new one in the next two weeks. That's right, we got a like goal now, bitch. And subscribe, because you're not gonna want to miss it. We gotta get netherite, emerald gear, I need to kill more dragons for dragon armor. Have I even told you guys that there's other dimensions in this? You, I, I bet you didn't even know that. This is such a dense mod pack, so we're not done here. But the 100 days is up. I've got one more thing to do, though, before we can close this chapter. Take back my home. Let's fight, bitch. Come on, fucker. What you want? What you want, huh? Huh? You trying to live in my fucking house? A hundred days you've been living here? Yeah, bitch. Come on, what? What? Yeah? What now, motherfucker? MINE! This is MY DOMAIN! And that's day 100. Thank you all for watching. Genuinely, the love and support that you guys give these videos is fucking amazing. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'm gonna go work on more. So for now, my name has been Eclipse, EQ for short, and I'll see ya in the next one.